The efforts of a Dunedin developer are being celebrated nationally at the country's premier property awards. Bruce Purvis is the owner and developer of the award-winning Staveley building and he joins us to talk about its redevelopment. Good evening Bruce. Yeah. Good evening. Firstly, congratulations. Mm -hmm. but do tell us about the award that you've just won. Well, it's, um, it's, a, it's a property industry award and it's um, run by the New Zealand Property Council and um, Levit, uh, rider Levitt Bucknell. Um, and it, we won it in, the, in this award in the, in the category of um, multi-use residential development. What does the recognition mean to you? Oh, well, it's, well, it's, well, it's pretty special, but it's, um, it's something to share with the people that work there, really. It's, um, mm. it's a, a bit of a joint effort, really. And, uh, yeah, it's quite, quite satisfying, really. Yeah. The Staveley Building's had a little bit of a, a, a sad time over the years. So tell us how you redeveloped the building. Um, well, we, we bought it, it was pretty run down, and uh, it, well, it didn't have a roof, it had this fire through it, and mm. um, we sort of worked out what we were going to do. I'm in, in partnership with my son on this venture, and we, we worked out we were, we'd need a car parking, so we went about and did that. And we approached the job from the point of view as we would sort of need to be fairly hands on in the area of, uh, of um, the work that uh, sort of was hard to quantify. So we, we did the earthquake strength thing and put on the new roof. Mm. and. And then we handed the building over to Arrow International, who fitted it all out and um, completely finished it. Mm. Yeah. Now, when and why did you buy the property? Uh, I bought it in 2010, and um, it, it, we saw some potential in it, and we're in that uh, business anyway, so um, that sort of fitted with our business profile. Um, it's also, uh, we could see some, a lot of potential in, uh, up for apartments and it was, it was sort of a, an opportunity to exercise our imagination and uh, we were sort of inspired by mm. things you read about in New York magazines and things <laughs> like that. Like, yeah. Is that how it's used yeah. now as apartments? It is, yes. Yeah. How yes. many are in there? Uh, we've got 11 apartments there. Oh, yeah. goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah. What are the greatest challenges in restoring local heritage buildings? Um, I, th I think the, the biggest challenge you're going to strike is really uh, economic. Really, it's to find a, a useful purpose for the building, mm -hmm. and then there's a lot of challenges around getting that to work. Really, and particularly in Dunedin, where uh, we have a lot of old buildings, and really it, it involves um, finding a modern use for them and bringing it up to sort of a mo something that, mod that has a useful modern um, use. Really, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, the challenges are really evolving in that. The rest falls into place if you can get the economics to work, I think. Yeah. How difficult is it to bring these buildings up to earthquake strength standards? Uh, it varies on the building. Some are more difficult than others. Um, uh, it involves diaphragms and you know steel and all manner of things. And um, mm. yeah, quite, it can be quite technical, but it's sort of a job for an engineer to, you have to, to do the calculations on that. Mm. Really. Yeah. But what did you learn through this project? Um, well, really. I, well, one thing I certainly learned was the passion that there is in Dunedin for our heritage buildings. Really, it was quite astounding the interest in the building. Mm. Really, um, we think we sort of plug away, but um, then we find that there's, there's a lot of public interest. Really, yeah. are you involved in any other redevelopments? Uh, no, 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 not at the moment. But, um, you caught your eyes peeled. For well, the next. yeah, the next opportunity might come along. Yes, mm. yes. Would you have done yeah. anything differently if given the chance? Oh, probably not. You just got to move forward, and. You know, mm. and uh, yeah, no regrets really. Yeah. Well, congratulations yeah. once again on mm. the award, Bruce Purvis. Thank you yeah. so much for your time. Oh, thank you. Yeah.